This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2003 Ford F-150 Super Cab. That's a four-door extra cab, short bed. Um, it's a 5.4 liter V8. It's four-wheel drive. It's XLT, which is cloth. Has 151,827 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from a State Farm Insurance in Denver, Colorado. Um, it is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. This is exactly what the truck looked like when we bought it. There's been no repairs done to it cosmetically at all. Basically, the insurance company salvaged the titles on theft recoveries, on most theft, probably about 75% of theft recoveries, because they don't want any liability in the future. So if they sold it to us on a clear title, and we sold it to you, and then something happened to you in this truck, because they put it on a clear title, there would be possibility of liability to them for what happened to you after you bought it from us. It's lawyer stuff, all right? Basically, they just want a divorce from the vehicle. Uh, anyway, uh, when I get into the vehicle, we go on our, our, on our drive, I'll tell you how we fix that so that you can get insurance and then we can get plates on it, okay? Um, vehicle runs and drives great. We got it here. The, the, one of the reasons I bought it is because it has a great Carfax really well serviced very obvious um it was stolen it also has some hail damage it's fairly light like in the sun you can't really see it hardly at all but when you get in the shade i don't know if you can see that or not it's not horrific my suggestion because it only seems to be on the hood i'm sure it's on the roof but who cares about the roof you, you know, unless you're shaquille o'neal doesn't matter what I would do if I cared about it is I would find a used hood, find one of these, there's millions of F-150s in wrecking yards, and buy a gray hood and just slap it on. Instead of getting it painted or getting dent busters, you could probably buy a hood for 150 bucks. The point of us not doing that, why don't we do it, is we're trying to keep the price down. And most people who buy trucks really don't care about that stuff. But if you did, that would be my suggestion. Um, whoever had this vehicle took really good care of it. Um, Undercarriage looks fantastic. Um, obviously, was very well maintained. They uh, stole stole one catalytic converter and a couple O2 sensors uh, on the uh, driver's side, which indicates to me that they probably got busted in the process of stealing the cats. <laughs> because that's probably, that's another reason why they salvaged the title also, is that, you know, retail for doing cat, catalytic converters is a lot. So um, I think we paid 600 and something dollars. Um, the invoice for that repair will be, uh, you can click on that and look at it so you can see uh, what we did. I think it's like 650 or dollars or something. Um, anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's the exhaust on the driver's side. So when you look in the uh, undercarriage pictures, you can kind of, let me see if I can get the video camera on it. Right up in there. Anyway, my, my thing on this truck is it runs and drives great. It's four wheel drive, it's a V8, it's a 5.4, old school 5.4. There's your key opening and locking. And uh, the interior of this thing looks fantastic. Um, so, you know, the paint, the body, whatever, it is what it is. If that is a problem for you, then you gotta go buy a newer one. 151,843 miles. I actually think it looks fine, to tell you the truth. But my job in these videos is to accentuate the negative. Uh, even if it's, you know, not good for us, it's better for us to just, uh, Make sure that you know exactly what you're buying so that we don't have any drama. And you're happy and you get more than you thought you were gonna get. Instead of less, all right? Really good sounding motor too. And it's a 5.4. Great motors in the first place. This is a new battery. So, you've got doors that do that, right? And you can tell it was an indoor vehicle 
because look at the bottom of the doors. No rust. There's a little, little tiny spot right there, but I mean, gosh, you can get that in Tucson. Um, let me go over some paperwork with you. Um, let's see. Here's the uh, 03. This is the Kelly Blue Book. Uh, 151 827 is your mileage. 54 four wheel drive. Typical listing price would be 9824 with a range of 7600 to 10. There's your VIN. This is the Carfax itself. 151,000 miles. Salvage history. Um, it's not liking the fact that I have the doors open and it's running. Uh, um, 8720 basically what they do uh, is they blend the car history the vehicle history with the Kelly Blue Book and they come up with a val retail value of 8720 which I think is low but whatever it is what it is okay there's your VIN salvage that's due to theft and here's all this stuff will be linked into our ad so you can look at this yourself easily okay obviously it just keeps getting serviced so I encourage you to open up the uh, the um, Carfax and look at it yourself. But I like to run through this with people. I mean, obviously, what it's a 19-year-old truck, so it's seen some action. But it, obviously, this thing spent quite a bit of time. 125 of 22. Hail damage reported. Vandalism damage. Vandalism damage is obviously the theft. Okay, here's the title from uh, State Farm. There's your VIN, State Farm, salvage. Date issued to them was uh, January 25th of 2022. 151,822 miles. There's State Farm, signs it over to Wheel Kinetics, okay? It's important for everyone to see all the paperwork so you know what's going on. You know we're on the up and up, there's no nothing going on here this guy goes up here like the the sunglass holders they all break but we save them because some people want to put them back together i'm sure we'll hear that rattling around when we go on our test drive here in a minute but uh i don't want to take it out of the truck because if i take it out of the truck inevitably it'll get lost which always happens so i'm gonna leave it in there and so when we go on our pothole road out here in the front um and you hear that rattling around it's not the truck, it's what's in the glove box. Nice truck, I like this truck. Nice tire, good tires. I mean, really, we need nothing here. Unless you wanna put a slap a new hood on it. God, that looks great. For a Denver truck, looks fantastic. Usually it's on the driver door and there's nothing. Huh. Very nice. All right, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Window, window, door locks. We did have to repair the seats. I just remember that we had to take both seats out right on this seam, just on this seam. It just came unstitched on both sides. So we had to take the seats into our upholstery guy and he just stitched them together. So that's that. Let's see, we got tilt wheel. There's your uh, lights on. Left turn. So you got, there's your blinker. Headlights on. I did buff the headlights out a little bit. They were kind of hazy. It's as good as they'll get, so. They're not very expensive, so if you wanted to get some clear ones. There's running lights on this side. Blinker on this side. Cargo lights on. Let's see, now we'll go to the other side blinker. Running light should be on here. Blinker should be on here. What's the other thing I'm forgetting? Oh, I'm <laughs> that freaking blinker's going there, headlights are on. This, this, this thing, I have one for $49 that I bought on Amazon. It showed up and it was the wrong one, wrong side. So you're gonna get a new side mirror with this thing. It does work, but it looks like crap. I thought for 49 bucks, I might as well do that, right? All right, turn the light off. There's your windshield wipers. Ugh. All right, let me get in here. Get the seatbelt on.
right, let's see. What else we got going on here? There's overdrive off, radio. Girls, I mean, is it really a bad... For Old school CD player, air conditioning. Yeah, it, that blows ice cold. But what matters more right now is that. So let me let that heater run for a little while. Make sure it gets nice and toasty in here. Um, let's see, what else? Put it in neutral, I'm gonna go to four low. There's four, low range. That's definitely granny gear right there. And the actuator's fired quickly too. And reverse in four low. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go to four high. There we go. Boom, now we're in four by four with the low range off. Drive. And reverse. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna go to two wheel drive. All right. If, uh, if you uh, come to Tucson to drive this thing home, you're gonna pay the following. You're gonna pay your state tax, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee, okay? Um, now, obviously you need plates and insurance if you're gonna come and drive it home. You can get neither on what we have right now. That salvage title, that Colorado salvage title, we cannot get plates. We have to take this truck, if you wanna drive it home, to level three inspection on Broadmont here in Tucson. The police, with guns on their hip, they real police, um, inspect it. Um, on theft recoveries, it takes about three minutes. Um, they give us what's called a level three inspection. With that inspection and the salvage title, we can get an Arizona restored salvage title. At that point, I can issue you plates to drive home with, and you can get insurance, okay? Um, without it, you cannot drive home. So that's mandatory. That's $200 to add to the deal if you're gonna drive it home. Um, if uh, you pay by wire and ship out of state, if you want us to uh, restore the title beforehand, let us know. We'll add $200 to the deal and we'll do it for you, okay? Um, once we receive full payment, if you are gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, uh, once we uh, receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. This thing runs great, by the way. Really nice ride, too. Um, blah, 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 blah. You will have the vehicle shipped to you. Once the vehicle uh, shows up at your house by your shipper, um, you'll already have the title and you'll just go get uh, plates. Very simple. Um, if you need help with shipping, let me know. I can uh, do it for you. We could roll the price of the shipping into the vehicle price and just pay one time. Um, if you want to do it yourself, you're welcome to. Um, less for me to do, but uh, what we really want is for you to get your truck uh, as quickly as possible. I'm sure that's what you want too, okay? Um, so let me know if you need help. Uh, deposits $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure uh, that you get your deposit in. Last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I have for 10 years. I should just hit re uh, recording. I should have it in my pocket and pull it out. Uh, we don't have salesmen, so you're not paying commissions when you buy from us. We don't have a fancy uh, lobby with a kitchen and an attendant serving scones and lattes. We're on Wetmore Road, about a half mile that way um, is the auto mall. And there you can get all that stuff. Obviously that stuff costs them money. So every time you buy a vehicle, you're paying a lot more to pay for that stuff, right? Um, we don't charge you for that stuff because we don't have that stuff. Um, we have locations you just saw us drive out of. We pay a dollar a month to our uncle who's on that property forever. Uh, we don't have salesmen, we don't have lattes, we don't have sandwiches. All we have is the truth, the Carfax, the Kelly, the, the you know, all that stuff. Uh, that you'll be able to see, all you have to do is click on it. All the documentation we have will be in the ad. The Kelly Blue Book, the repair uh, to the exhaust. Um, everything that we have, you will be able to see, okay? Uh, they would never show you all that stuff. First of all, they're not organized enough to have it all. And second of all, they don't want you to know it. By the way, it's hot in here. The heater works fine. <laughs> I'm like, why am I getting so hot? Oh, because the heater's on. I'm in Tucson. I'm not used to testing the heater. Um, let's see, what else? Um, so basically what we're saying is, uh, the, oh, one last thing. 
when you go to the auto mall and you buy and you pay a fortune for your vehicle because of all that stuff you have to pay for, um, they know that if something breaks, you're gonna bring it in and say, fix my truck, I just paid a fortune for it. And they should. Uh, they add five to $700 to every deal at the time of sale, uh, unknown to you, for future repairs. We don't do that. We're giving you all of the savings up front. There's only two of us here. We cannot deal with repairing your vehicle. So if there's a broken thing, and every vehicle breaks, every single vehicle is going to break. If something breaks, whether it's day one or day 3,000 of you owning this thing, um, you will fix it with a lot of money that you saved up front. Um, you know, we'd be happy to charge you $2,000 and, you know, give you six months of, you know, risk-free driving. Uh, or we could just give you the money up front and, you know, tell you to change your oil and not wreck it. It'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, this thing runs great, but you never know. I mean, you just never know. I mean, you never know when a window motor decides to take a crap or the radio decides to stop working or windshield wiper stops working or who knows um, if it does you saved a ton of money in this case also the title saves you a fortune I mean god if this thing was on a clear title um, it would be many thousands more okay uh, a piece of paper saves you a pound of money all right um, anyway that's how we operate this thing runs fantastic um, I've only I only have 17 minutes and 38 seconds on these videos to uh, to film. I'm not really sure how that ended up. It's just I guess that's what YouTube gives us. So I'm almost there, but I might as well just keep it running until we get there. Fortunately, I'm behind this rig with a forklift back here. Kind of just kind of did a little loop around crosscut. Anyway, I love I love the ride of this thing. I've had this on I-10. It runs and drives great. It speed it's uh got tires that are nice obviously it doesn't need an oil change the oil looks great um and he's turning left anyway there we go all right actually it's a really smooth ride too very quiet Alright, just about out of 